this is not quite the real story. I found this shed two days ago. It was setting exactly like this. You can see the main beam was stuck in the ground and this was stuck in the ground. And just like I said, I'd seen it from the other hill because of the image I had, I, I just assumed that it wasn't a horn because all I could see is a big white blob. Thought it was a dead cow's pelvis or something. But this is what it is. It was the biggest scoring shed I've ever found in my life. I was with, with a kid, Tim Parrish, from Tucson. He wanted to come up and hunt sheds with me. I says, well, we'll go. I don't know where we'll go. But I'd seen a buck in here three years ago that was heavy, had a lot of extra points. I thought we'd just come hike around. Tim couldn't believe it when I found this shed. He went home today, but not before he found the other side. This shed has 53 inches of non-typical points. It's got a 180 inch four point frame. It's got seven inch mass measurements, five and a half inch mass measurements, which makes 25 inches of mass. You would think that there would be no way that a horn could get bigger. Well, come here, they do. This is not, this is not where it was laying. Tim found it about three quarters of a mile. I met him on the road today and his side is bigger, believe it or not. The one horn has 15 points plus an eye guard. The second horn that Tim found has 16 points plus an eye guard. We've already scored it. This frame was, this buck's horn was 79 inches. This one was 81 and a half. Makes a 180 inch four point frame. Mainly made up for the short tines and the mass measurements being 25 inches on each side. The uh, non-typical points add up to 112 inches. It's almost as many as I've ever seen on any buck anywhere. The, the total gross score of this buck with a 180 inch four point frame, saying he's got a 20 inch inside spread, would be 293 inches. They're only a year old sheds. I haven't seen the buck for two years, but he is, I believe he is still alive and is the biggest pair of sheds I've ever found in my life. You get blue sky there? I got blue sky. It's pretty. It'd be about 35 inches outside, just mainly because of cheaters. He's only about a 24 inch frame deer, maybe 25. But just the most unreal 25 inch deer ever. That is an incredible story. It's amazing how similar each side is. I would have assumed when I found this that no way could the other horn be this big. And when Tim found it today, but she's not here, he'd be in here. When Tim found it today, I just about died that he had found a stronger side. Anyway, it's awesome. Let's get out of here. Here's another shed off the uh, little big buck. Found it two weeks to the day from when Tim and I found the first pair, the 294 inch pair. It's very similar, almost identical in frame structure that's got a 23 inch beam a little longer the whole frame is a little longer four point frame scored 83 inches it had 26 inches of non-typical points puts it at about 109 i thought the first time i seen him he was about a 230 inch deer maybe a hair more and uh, that'd be close that would be mid 230 if the uh, other side was the same he's got a lot of little little bump right there where he's got the big cheater comes out and down Many of the same type of points, but you have never would have never dreamed that this buck would have turned into, you know, a 290-inch uh, non-typical deer. You'd have thought it was as heavy as it is right here. It's over 20 inches of mass here. You'd have thought that it may have been as wide or as big as it was ever going to get. Just shows you how how much sometimes these things, if you give them a little age, they'll uh, they could really turn into something.